Another method is by making use of a change plate. We can throw down our change plate, step on it and place the staff right on top of the change plate. Welcome to another Dumpy Level Theory training session. In today's training, we'll discuss more about how to use a change plate. We'll be speaking about the following three points. Identify what will be used as a change plate, why do we use a change plate, and examples of a change plate. Let's jump into it. Identifying what will be used as a change plate when using your Dumpy Level. It can be a physical change plate, which is movable and you step on it every time before you use it. It can be a peg, something which is more constant in height, which you can refer to at a later stage, a tree, a concrete benchmark or even a town survey mark if you want to do a high traverse. One very important concept to always remember, when you're using a change plate, make sure to step on it as hard as possible so that it's not movable. The harder you step, the more it goes into the ground, ensuring that your height readings is always accurate. Let's speak about why we use a change plate. We want to be able to work from the same height after we have moved our dumpy level. For example, if we do a collimation test and we have to refer to the exact same point at a later stage, it's always better to use something like a change plate. If you've got a permanent baseline at your office that you can use, that is perfect, that's even better because then you know your height will be 100% the same all the time but if we just have a change plate we make use of it to transfer the heights to other known points and to have it constant where we are the change plate has a, has a small knob so as soon as you put the level on, on the staff onto it it will always have the same height reading which is what you want when you're using your dumpy level and then let's just speak about examples of a change plate so a change plate is something that is movable, but you can also use a fixed point as a change plate. It's just the way you use your dumpy level. So a change plate normally is something that's movable, that you can use on one point and then pick it up, go to the next point and put it in there. But the nice thing about a change plate is, for example, when you're doing a collimation test, is that it is something that you can leave at both ends to be able to make sure that you are always using the exact same heights. So we can see and look at a change plate as anything that gives us a constant reading. So that, that is why we stated that a change plate could also be something like a peg, a concrete benchmark and so on. That's it for today. We'll see you in the next video.